Welcome everyone, the first step to install unsigned iOS firmwares is our iPhone needs to be supervised. So on the home page of settings, if you don't see a message which says this device is managed and supervised by, then you're gonna to have to continue watching. If you do see that message, skip to the timestamp down below. A Windows computer is needed in order to supervise the device. If you have a Mac computer, I'm gonna have a tutorial on how to supervise in the description and once you supervise with a Mac, skip to the timestamp, which shows how to install the delayed OTA software updates. And for the Windows users, let's proceed with the supervision. Head over to supervise.me on your computer. We're gonna click on get started. We are then going to see our backup bot and we're gonna click on the Windows download here. It says, file not downloaded security risk our backup bot has existed for 10 years, it's perfectly safe. So click on the arrow and then allow the download. We are then going to download iTunes with this Windows link here. So click on this and our iTunes will download. We are then going to click on the supervised backup like this and we can see we have the supervised. So from here, we are going to set up our backup bot. We're going to set up iTunes. Once we've done this, we're going to click on the Windows button. We're going to click on the power and you need to restart your computer. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. On the iPhone itself, you're going to open up the home page of settings. You are then going to tap on your name. You are then going to tap on find my and find my iPhone or iPad. And then tap on this toggle to turn off the find my. You can turn back on Find My after you have installed the delayed OTA software update, but for now this must be off. After you have removed Find My iPhone, I want you to hold down the power and volume down key together. You're going to slide the power off. And once the device is off, you're going to hold down the power button and then we're going to turn back on the iPhone. After the restart, we're going to unlock our iPhone or iPad and you want to leave it on the home screen don't play around, stay on the home screen. And now let's move back to the computer. Now we're going to connect your iPhone to the computer. As it's on the home screen, you're going to see a trust message. Just tap on trust and enter in your passcode. We can now open up iBackup Bot like this. Once you've opened iBackup Bot, you're going to get 1001 errors. Just click on no for any prompts. And if there's an OK message, just click on OK. Now let's click on the iPhone. We can see iOS 16.0.1. This is my iPhone 14 plus. We are now going to open up the file explorer. We're going to click on downloads. We're going to see the supervised zip file. We're going to click on it and then extract all and then extract. This will take a couple of seconds depending on your storage. We now see this folder, so we can now proceed. So go back into iBackupBot and you're gonna click on the Open Backup button. You're going to click into the Downloads, Supervised, Add Supervision, Supervise, and when you see No Items Manual Search, click on Select Folder. We are then going to click on the plus where it says Add Supervision, we're going to click on System Files. We're going to search for Config. Click on Enter. You will see Configuration Profiles. Click on this. And then click on Restore. It's going to ask for a password. I'll put that on screen. It's 1111. And then we'll click on OK. This backup will only restore the supervision on your device. All of the other files will remain the same, but one thing which will change is your region on the iPhone. It will be reverted to a UK keyboard and a UK system language, and I'll show you how to change that back in a little bit. We are now done with the computer, so the final steps are on the device itself. On the iPhone itself, we see the hello screen. We are going to enter in our passcode. You don't need to enter in a Wi-Fi network because it will automatically connect. The important part is this. You must select don't transfer apps and data. 
if you restore from a backup, you're going to lose your data, no joke. Don't transfer, means everything stays the same. It will ask for your Apple ID password. You want to enter this one in now. Welcome to iPhone. And when we go to the settings, you can see here, this iPhone is supervised and managed by supervised.me. Don't worry, this is only temporary. After the software updates, the supervision will be removed. Before you proceed, I recommend you go to the general area of settings and where you see keyboard, keyboards, you may need to change your keyboards back. Also check the language and region. You may need to change these back as well. And the date and time, you may also need to change back as well. Once you've verified this, let's go back into the Safari browser. We are going to go back to supervise.me. You are then going to tap on the delay OTA and we're going to see the unsigned iOS firmware. You can see the expires in. What that means is you have an extra 90 days after an iOS firmware is unsigned to still install it on your device, okay? So if iOS 16.1.2 unsigned yesterday, you have 90 days after the unsigned date. So let's tap on get for iOS 16.1.2. In the future, the firmware you see may change. If you're too slow, you can be redirected to an ad. So we're gonna tap on get again, allow, and then close. From here, let's open up the settings. We are going to find more for your iPhone or profile downloaded. We're gonna tap on view and then install. Enter in the passcode, install, install, done. Once you've done this, we are now going to head over to the software update page. And you can now see we have the iOS 16.1.2 software update. It says your iPhone is allowing the latest software update uh, available from your administrator. Of course, iOS 60.2 is the latest at this time. Before we proceed, I want you to turn off automatic updates so that after you do this delayed OTA software update, you're not going to accidentally then update your device to the latest iOS. So the final step is to download and install this update. And I'm going to cut once this is done. The device automatically updated. And after unlocking, there we go. So for update complete, iPhone has been updated to iOS 16.1.2. Again, this firmware is currently unsigned. After the software update, you can see the supervision is removed. But what I advise is you go into general, software update, and make sure automatic updates is off so that you aren't forcefully updated to the latest version of iOS. If you want to help support the channel, below the video, there is a like button. And if you slide across, there's a super thanks. Uh, I was the creator of supervise.me and this whole method. So if you do want to show support, please do that. If you shop on Amazon, please do consider clicking on my affiliate link before you make a purchase. If you do that every time, that will help me out massively. And finally, there is membership, monthly fee, and the join link is in the description. If you want to help provide recurring revenue for me, please click that link.